Welcome back, I'm Quinnen, and today we're going to be doing the second part to the Pawn game in Python using the Tinker module. So, in the last video, we got the, the screen all set up, and we're get, we have everything ready to start drawing the ball. So, this is probably going to take a little bit longer than the last one, but then we'll get a ball to the screen, and the next um, video, we'll be doing the movement and collision detecting and all that in the next video. Alright, so... Here I've got my, I'm in the Pong and Python TK folder that I created in the last video here. So we'll just open her, open her up. So we've got the basic text editor again. After we do the imports, this is right where our, we're going to put the ball class. So then we just give it an extra enter. We, we're going to use extra spacing and everything like that just to keep everything straight. So you want to type class and then and then you want to type ball well you can name it whatever but in this case I'm going to call it ball because that's what it really is and you want to do colons not semicolons you kind of get messed up between that especially after doing something like C++ or Java then the colons is you get semicolon a lot more semicolons and colons and stuff like that so then after the class ball line you want to type DEF as in define and then two underscores and then in it and then two more underscores all right then you do um, some parentheses and then self dot self and this and color Oop. color all right so we're defining just some basics self is the ball canvas is background and color is what we're going to be setting a little bit later yeah, so now what we're going to type is self dot canvas equals canvas so then that's just saying that canvas equals um, self dot canvas and try to shorten stuff so then we say self dot id equals canvas dot create underscore or oh oval all right so now it's going to create an oval and then and then we want to do some parentheses here and in these parentheses we set the size of our oval so we could you can really set it to anything I'm going to set it to 100 by 100 and then 250 by 250 so that should be the size and the depth and then last thing that we want to do is fill equals color so it's saying that everything inside of the circle is going to be filled the circle is going to be filled with a color so then on the next line we say um self self dot canvas dot move um self dot id and two four five 245 these are the pixels so now what we're doing here is we're just setting a place for the ball to start in otherwise it's just going to start in the top left hand corner and you might not even see it on the screen so then on the next line we type um we're going to call these starts or their start points so then we say starts equals and then the squares we do negative three space bar negative oh comma negative two and negative one and then we these are all positions in the screen so position one is going to be this top screen here um, position three is the bottom position zero is well we haven't said position zero but position zero zero will be this left hand side and position two will be this right hand side these other positions are just the kind of filler positions so we and then we skip zero and do one, two, and three, and the square bracket. All right, and then you do. Oop. Then we do random dot shuffle dot. Oh, and then in parentheses starts. All right, so that's just going to randomly shuffle them so that they're not in a set order per se, and then to, in this way the ball can move. So then the uh, it's constant it's going to be able to change right so then we say self dot x equals we're going to say zero because right now we're just trying to draw the ball and we say self dot y 
also equals zero. So now, these are the X and Y. This is how fast the ball is going to be going. Right now, we're just setting them to zero temporarily. We'll be changing them a little bit later. So now after that, you want to say self dot canvas underscore height equals self dot canvas dot winfo underscore height and then and then you do parentheses. So, so this is just getting it ready to take the the size of the canvas. So it's mainly for the collision. So it's going to be taking these coordinates that we gave it down here, gave the canvas, and it's going to be detecting for them. So we're going to want to. We did this for the height. So we want to copy that whole line, just highlight it all, and then hit Control C, and then on the next line, hit Control V, and then we change. Oops change the height to width on both accounts the next thing that we need to do is define draw because draw is going to be what actually draws the ball so we type df and then draw and then in brackets we say self and then we end that with colons I mean in parentheses of course so then we go self dot can this dot move and then in the and then we do parentheses again and we do self dot id oop comma and then self dot x and self dot y so this game ready to move the ball this is really setting it up for the for the next video when we actually get moving the ball and then, so then we type position equals self dot canvas dot chords and self dot id in parentheses so now this is just setting up a position so now it's going to be drawing the ball to the position that we stated um back here so that's all that we need for that for the ball class we've gotten everything set up so it should be drawing the ball but before you c if you ran the program right now nothing would happen so after tk in this update class that we did down here you just hit enter twice and then we get the extra line there and then we type ball equals ball and then do parentheses again and then in it we say canvas and this is where we set the color so in my case i'm going to set it to blue but you can set it to whatever for color if you want. And then in the while one class, we want to type ball dot draw, and and that with some parentheses, and it should be all good to go. So I just hit save or control S, and then we'll open up. Since I'm using Linux, I'm going to be running this with the terminal. So then pull the terminal up here and type Python, and then main dot py hit enter um i forgot one thing here we gotta add some single quotations around blue and then we run it otherwise it just won't otherwise it's expecting it to be a command and we're trying to set it as a color so you gotta remember the single quotations so now when we hit enter we get a ball on the screen it's not doing anything right now later on we'll get it but i um, bouncing around the screen and hitting the corners and everything but so far we've got a blue ball we can change the the color to let's say red if we wanted to hit control s up hit enter and as you can see we've got red ball so as you can see we've got a ball drawn to the screen it's not doing anything yet but in the next videos we'll get it bounce around the screen and everything like that and we'll get a collision detecting and then after that we're going to start working on the paddle and the player class so and then we're going to work on points function and everything like that so i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you liked it be sure to leave a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe we appreciate every subscriber and i'll be seeing you guys in the next video